putting it in the 1967 time period because, like Stacy said, um, another big theme of the show is going from civilization um, to city to more, more back into the fields and forest and organic feelings and um, comments about all of that. And there's um, a resolution that you'd have to see um, at the end of the play. It's a kind of a happy ever after pastoral play. A lot of times people think this is one of Shakespeare's minor, not like a Midsummer Night's Dream or a Romeo and Juliet, but it probably has some of the most important things to say. Um, and like Noah said, if you really listen carefully to the lines, um, it has things that are universal. has been interesting thus far because we've never, at least when I've been here, we've never taken a Shakespeare play and put it in a different time period. So that's been a challenge, an interesting challenge that we've had to face because the characters are obviously need to be more modernized where they were written to be in obviously a much earlier. So it, it's been difficult, but it's been a fun challenge to overcome. Will you Orlando? Then you must say, I take thee, Rosalind, for wife. I take thee, Rosalind, for wife. I think that it is for specific reasons that it um, particularly mixes, like, works well with the 60s. It's because, you know, there is, there was the um, big Vietnam and there was such an uprising of people who were simplifying their lifestyles and really focusing on what really mattered, like peace, love, and happiness, the cliche things, but like that's exactly what's going on in the forest is they, they have been banished from society and are now creating like their own, what they believe are the right ordeals, just as the hippies were in the 60s. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely play. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man at his time plays many parts. Rosalind is her mother has well actually it's her father but in our show it's her mother <laughs> is has been banished and so she's living with her cousin who is her best friend and then she gets banished and so they go in search to find her mother in the forest and they find her and it's basically she falls immediately in love with Orlando and it's kind of like this love story slash her trying to be strong as she doesn't have any family near her and she is a really strong and like witty character and so it's really And so I am for Phoebe. And I for Ganymede. And I for Rosalind. And I for <clears throat> no woman. It's really actually exciting. It's really a lot of fun to just try it's you get to do whatever you want on stage and it's almost like acting in two different ways. You know, you're you're acting a character, acting a character and so it's just you just get to like throw all caution to the wind at that point, and it's a lot of fun. It's my favorite character so far. No, so. no, the waters roar. My sting is not so sharp as friends remember now. Then I sing hey ho unto the green holly. Last year I actually had some reservations about doing full Shakespeare dialogue. I didn't think the rest of the cast was going to be able to get it. I didn't know that they had read Shakespeare, but it turns out they had, and the same goes for this cast. Um, everyone's read some Shakespeare on their own, and everyone gets the language, which is really helpful because to convey to the audience what the language is talking about, you yourself need to have a deep understanding of it. So that's where we're really getting now. Everyone's cracking down on the language, we're getting it, and hopefully by the first performance we'll really be able to convey what we're saying. It's just unbelievable what you can learn from being in, in a play, and Shakespeare is um, a challenge. It is a challenge because it's like speaking another language. Um, somebody asked me if I'd ever think of doing Shakespeare in modernizing the language, and I really prefer not to, because 
they also learn from the illusions in the play. There's biblical illusions in this play. There's historical illusions. So it's, it's a great learning experience for everybody.